All right, this is part two. This may end up loading slower since it's on my other phone, but uh, it's all good. You know, it's a little frustrating. I'm trying to find a, a closer, well, more shaded area that's around this part, but uh, I really can't get that situated. But Lord willing, I get all the video I need. My other phone started overheating, and that's my regular phone. And uh, anyways, back to it. I, I think I forgot where I left off at. So, you know, let's get into it. Uh, met a brilliant brother earlier. Um, you know, we'll see if he gets the truth or not. Wakes up to the truth or not. We understand that this truth is not for everybody. Okay. But our job is to um, prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. So we can get the heck up out of here. Lord willing that he deems us worthy. And uh, for the other nations to get their um, to get their judgment. The elect to get their judgment, which is righteousness, the crown of glory, and finish line. They finish their race. The Two-thirds to get their judgment of fire or pestilence, plagues, or whatever the Lord has in store for them. And other nations to get their judgment. Um, that can be the fire, plagues, death, destruction, and slavery. Okay, oh yes, yeah, slavery is in the Bible. Okay, they got to serve their slavery. Just like we served our slavery. And that's just how the Lord set things up. You know, that's just how the Lord set things up. Whether you believe it or not, that's just how it is. Um, I think I was reading about the nuclear missiles um, that are prophesied in the Bible. Um, my memory's coming back. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I was walking back and forth trying to find a good shaded spot. And Lord willing, this phone right here, which I know is going to take forever to upload this video, Lord willing, this. Um, this works out and doesn't overheat right now because I do have less memory and storage, well, less stuff to store on uh, on this uh, phone. So, anyways, without well, further ado, let's go back to um, I'm trying to think where I was at Malachi. Let's go back to Malachi 4 and 1. Okay, for behold, the day of cometh. That shall burn as an oven. All the proud, yea. Who's the proud? You can read Malachi 1. Right? Those are the proudest people on the planet of the earth that are ruling this earth. Okay? That's the proud. And then you also have the two thirds of our people that's proud as hell. They think they know everything. You know, we're we're learned men up here. Okay? And don't get it twisted, I am a younger brother and I'm still learning. But other than that, we're, we're learned men, so we're trying to give you the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of what's going down. Okay? The Lord's not dealing with pride like that. Anyways, um, and all that do wickedly, okay? So the nations, Edomites, two-thirds of our people, all right, committing wickedness, shall be stubble and like i read in um zechariah 14 and 12 okay when that nuclear missile hits when we look at the people gonna be looking up maybe have their phones out they may even still be making memes at that time man when that nuclear missile hits and that, and that fire just bursts in all their faces man and then the eye sockets just melting out like we read in uh, Zechariah 14, and the tongue melting away, and the whole body. Hey, the Lord is so terrible, man. The Lord is so terrible, he, he can keep your spirit, your spirit still in that body. While that nuclear missile is engulfing your whole body, man. And that's why it's imperative to get this truth, man. It's not enough to know that you're an Israelite. 
You got to do the work. You got to have faith. So you won't get that death by pain, man. And a lot of people going to get that death by pain. Two thirds outnumber the elect. You know? But that also coincides the elect having many, 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 many children in the kingdom of heaven because the two thirds have to be brought back. Because all Israel is going to be saved. Okay? But uh, they got to get that death by pain. They got to get cleansed by that fire first before they get the um, kingdom of heaven. But the elect, first and foremost, because <clears throat> we understand that this uh, uh, wicked ass body that we're in cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. So the elect is going to get that glorious body first. Okay? All that do weakly shall be stubble. And the day of cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, and shall leave, and it's that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Woo! Lord ain't playing around, man. You're gonna be utterly, utterly wasted at that time. Uh, verse 2. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and you shall go forth and grow up as calves in the stall see that's what we're looking forward to see when Yahweh Shai comes back with his greatness his glory and power okay he's going to beam up the elect in them chariots and Lord willing hey, we're going to get beamed up in them chariots man and we're going to be healed alright because it does say the righteous are going to be scarcely saved and like I said earlier in my first uh, uh, part of this video before my phone overheated. Alright. That I'd rather just, you know, get beam me up, Scotty. But the Lord, the Lord got to purify his elect. The Lord got to try his people. Okay, he's not just going to give you the kingdom of heaven just because you want it. Alright, you got to earn it. Just like people work hard to get that new house, a new car, new video games. They got to go to their job, save up their money. Well, this is what the Lord is doing with his elect. Okay, you got to go on your job. You got to go out here to the highways and byways and preach his word. No questions asked, man. Preach his word. If you call the preach his word, you're supposed to be doing that. Okay? If you're not called, help out the ministry. Keep the law, sessions, commandments to the best of your ability. You know, tell people that there is a light. You know, because not everybody's able to break down the word, but you can help in, in some shape or fashion. Okay? You got people that don't know the scriptures, but you can go to another person and be like, hey, brother, you're an Israelite. Hey, sister, you're an Israelite. Keep the law, sessions, commandments. Watch this brother's video. Repost brother's videos. Right? That's what you can do. You know, even me now. You know, see a brother's video that I like, I may repost it. Take some notes. You know, that's that's what you do. But you gotta you gotta uh, uh, want it. Alright? These are times where where the Lord is just like, hey, who wants it? Want it, go get it. What we do understand, but it, it's it's all about election. So first and foremost got to be called from the beginnings of the earth before the earth was even formed the lord had a master plan like hey this person going to be the elect this person going to be two-thirds this person over here is going to be a uh, uh, edomite this person over here going to be a moabite okay so you know all praise to the albashi masai that sure is a light but that's not enough you got to work for this truth Got to come out here and preach his word. Gather up his elect. All right? Blow the trumpet. Blow the trumpet, man. Those who are going to get it are going to get it. Those who are going to forbear it and not take heed to it are, are going to be destroyed. Okay? I'm trying to be the first fruits of the kingdom, man. I'm not trying to play no games with the Lord. So that's why I'm waiting for the Lord to have healing in his wings for him to come back for his elect so we can be healed 
you see people with their broken homes, broken houses, man. All right? They're fa dysfunctional families. You know? We waiting for that we waiting for that mercy. We waiting for the healing. Okay? That's what that's what, that's what we waiting for. Um Let's go to Yeah, let's go ahead and go verse 3. So this is what's going to happen next. All right. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that, all right, check this, in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Okay, not, not with uh, these uh, so-called black militant groups picking up arms and being like, hey, we're going to take the kingdom for ourselves. No. Esau Edom is in power. The Lord set him up in power over you for a reason. And you cannot tear down which the Lord has uphold. Okay? This base man, this wicked ass man is in power for a reason. Okay? Those who understand that are going to understand it. We're not going to take up arms and, and try to try to take down this kingdom. No. We have no might, man. The Lord blessed him with the sword. We don't have the blessing of the sword, okay? We're waiting for our spiritual power, man. We're waiting for the Lord to bring healing in his wings, okay? We can't tear down with what the Lord has set up to be in power, okay? Matter of fact, let's go to, um, let's go to Job. Let's get a classic, man. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? Okay. Earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Alright. And guess what? The Lord set him up. This is the Lord's movie, so we can't can't tear it down. We can't do nothing about it. You know? That's just how the Lord set things up. Why do you like it tonight? Alright. Um Let's go to, we want to go to Genesis. Let's go to Genesis. Let's see where I want to go to. Let's go to. I guess we can start at verse, uh, I guess we'll start at verse, uh, let me see, let's see, I think I'm going to start at 28, alright, because this is, uh, Genesis 27 and, uh, 28, okay, this is our blessing. That the Lord has bestowed upon us, the elect first and foremost. And this is, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself, but this is why Esau Edom, the Edomites, hate you, okay? Uh, this is Genesis 27 and 28. Therefore, power give thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Speaking in parables. Of the riches and the kingdom of heaven okay let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee that's what's gonna happen in the kingdom of heaven you're gonna get that fame and glory in the kingdom of heaven all right you got your NBA players basketball players uh you know celebrity they getting their fame now but that's gonna to amount to nothing man because the elect that's doing the work and they're gonna have more glory and shine in the kingdom all right be lord over thy brother and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee okay um cursed be everyone that curseth thee and blessed be he that blesseth thee all right so that goes into the blessings man so everybody in the kingdom of heaven all the other nations ultimately they're gonna be blessed how because the earth 
is going to be given back to the righteous. The earth is going to be clean again. Okay? But the ones that curse us, like you see on the news and, and everywhere, hey, ultimately, they got a, a, a beautiful, a beautiful judgment coming to them, man. All right? The other nations got to serve their slavery first. Because it said right here in, the, in this chapter, man. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Let people serve thee. How is people going to serve thee? By being your servants, your slaves. By you being over them. And power and righteousness, man. And nations bow down to thee. Nations are going to bow down to you in the kingdom of heaven. Be Lord over thy brethren. Be Lord over our brethren. Who's our brethren, man? Yeah, Esau, Edom, our twin evil brother. <laughs> All right. We got our other Hebrew cousins. Okay, like Moab, Ammon. All right, Ishmael. All right. Those are some Hebrews. Semitic people. But they're not the chosen Semitic race. Okay. And let's go to, uh, let's jump down to. Uh, verse 39. This is Esau Edom. This is his blessing. Okay. Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwellings shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. So we're reading this and it sounds and it sounds very similar to what uh, Jacob got. Jacob blessing got. Okay. fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above all right so you look at these edomites say they, they eating good they doing well for themselves i was looking at uh, uh photos earlier on social media they had this big ass house man with the pool the playground in it uh the houses were uh, uh doped up man it, it it was dope man it was eating good all right but i said to myself i was like in the kingdom of heaven I'm gonna have that like a million times better than that. <laughs> a million times better than that. You have Elon Musk. He's making uh, this Gigafactory. Well, he's having Gigafactories being made for Tesla. All right, those who don't know, Elon Musk is, I believe, one of the owners of Tesla. I don't think he's a founder of Tesla. He's not the founder of it, but he, uh, I believe he's one of the owners of it. Okay. So, you know, he's like the face. He's like the face of it. Okay? But, um, you know, you look at that Gigafactory, the renders of what they're coming with, you know, how big and nice it's going to be. You know, I'm like, man, you can imagine one brother's house alone can be like a freaking Gigafactory. All right? Except for it's going to be clean and righteous. All right? So, hey, <laughs> we can't wait for the kingdom of heaven, but right now, the earth being given into the hands of the wicked. So, hey, they're going to enjoy their they riches. They're going to enjoy their kingdom, okay? The difference is the kingdom is temporary, and, you know, everything they try to get is art by artificial means, okay? By artificial means. But, you know difference with us man we gonna live forever we're gonna have those spiritual bodies we ain't gonna be sinning anymore it's gonna be beautiful in the kingdom of heaven but check this verse 40 by the sword shall thy live and shall thy serve thy brother and it shall you hear that by the sword shall thy live okay and he says he's gonna serve his brother all right the blessing was already given to jacob all right the ultimate blessing so it's already written that Esau eat him regardless, man. Him ruling this earth now. All right, he's still going to serve us in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, thou shalt break the yoke, break his yoke from off his neck. Okay? When we had power in the ancient world, they came up in power. When we got power, in uh, the so-called dark ages 
Esau Enum came out the uh, caves. The bubonic plague hit us. They came into power in the Renaissance period. Renaissance meaning rebirth. Okay, they started painting over our images. That's why when you go back to Job 9 and 24, it says he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Okay. When you read uh, in the Maccabees 3 and 48, how they um, how the heathens sought to paint the likeness in our in our books, you know, paraphrasing. You know, that's that's what they did. You know, it's nothing new under the sun, but this time, this is the last straw. Lord had enough for you, you, you heathens, man. Lord had enough for you two-thirds committing wickedness. So this this mass and great and beautiful judgment is going to come upon you, man, very, very soon. And to hell with y'all, man, because y'all wicked as hell. I don't want to take heed to the word. You don't want to get this knowledge. You buck up to the men that try to give you this, this real medicine, and, and you want none part of it. But whatever Daddy E tells you to do, you do, you know? We ain't, we ain't trying to, we ain't trying to please this man. We trying to please you out by seeing my side, man. Okay. Let's go to uh, Romans 13. And show you that this man is in power for a reason. Okay, so we just got to take this L, take this beating, take this prison sentence. And pray that the Lord deems us worthy to experience his healing in his wings first. Okay. Romans 13. Let every soul be subject unto the high powers, unto the higher powers. For there is no power but the most high. The powers that be are ordained of the most high. The powers that are above us right now are ordained by the most high. Okay? That's why we're not associated, we're not affiliated with these militant groups that go out there and think they're going to take uh, 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 this man Esau eat him down. First and foremost, your blessing ain't the sword. You don't have no military training like that. And your leaders, your rulers that are uh, set up over that, they made a covenant with death. They're nothing but Judas goats. So while you out there getting mowed down, they're going to be in the back of the back, drinking their tea, getting paid. You know, because we know that they set up. Like uh, the brother Malcolm I said, you know, because I remember watching the video. You had the Edomites go out there with the guns, all right? They had the guns out. Police came up. Police officers showed them the guns, and, and, you know, they chopped it up. They had a good time. But Jake, when he goes out there with his guns, okay, because they did a little test. You can probably look up the video. When Jake went out there with the guns, hey, the police surrounded him. Hey, hold up your hands, all that, man. So this ain't your kingdom, man. This is not your kingdom. Take this L. Just realize we got to take this L. You know, it hurts. But it's for your good, as we'll read. Okay? You're doing that which is pleasing unto the Lord. Right? Even your enemies are going to be at peace with you. Okay? Now, we do understand the man going is of the Lord, so we don't want holy no are a lot right a lot at the end of the day like who's going to die for the truth or who's going to not die for the truth okay either way if you endure to the end okay you're going to be saved okay All right, the powers that be are ordained by the Most High. Whosoever therefore resisted the powers, power, resisted the ordinances of the Most High. Okay, you thinking that you're going to tear down this, this wicked ass kingdom by your own means? 
you don't understand what's going on. You're going against Yahweh Bashim outside. Okay? And they that resisted shall receive to themselves damnation. You're going to get mowed down. You're going to get chopped down. Okay? They got bigger weapons. They got more training. They know what's going on. They know what's up. You other brothers don't know what's up, man. You know, Grandmaster Jay trying to align himself with the Israelite movement. You ain't with us, man. You have no body of work. You ain't been out here to the highways and byways. You don't even have the appearance of keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, you got bald face and a bald head. You know, you would think at least what Esau Edom could do is send some men with a beard on and some hair on his head. No, man. Esau Edom so simple, man. That's how we can see right through you. You know? People are bought for and paid off, man. Guess what? Your uh, covenant with death is going to amount to nothing, man. Covenant that you made with the Edomites. Get that bag so your own people can get mowed down. Either way, the Lord is going to get you. Okay? Wholeheartedly, the Lord is going to get you. All you false prophets out there, all you false leaders out there, the Lord is going to get you. All right? Those who don't take heed to this word, the Lord is going to get you. Okay? I'm going to see how long this phone lasts. It's still in the sun. I don't know why my other phone. Well, yeah, my other phone has more memory on it. So, Lord willing, this lasts. Okay? Because my uh, other phone cut off in like 30 minutes. I was like, what in the world, man? Anyways... For the rulers are not a terror to good works. The rulers are not terror to those who keep the law, and commandments who are out here doing this work. All right, that's it for right now. Because we do understand that the devil, with Esau Edom, knows that he has but a short time to rule this earth. Okay, so he will come after those who keep the law, and commandments. But for right now, where everything's, well, I can't even say everything's pretty much calm, but it is calmer in uh, uh, Jacob's trouble when it really, really pops up. Alright? But either way, we understand that the Lord is going to keep us. Okay? The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and believe in him. Okay? But to the evil, to the evil of our people, that's why you see our people get jacked up like it ain't no tomorrow, man. Uh, they posted up a video on social media had a brother in his car in the camera facing the police I guess the police officer was pointing and they end up beating up the brother you know you know that's a, a judgment of the Lord but hey still man ain't you tired of seeing your people in such a, a horrible condition I'm tired of seeing my people in a horrible condition I'm tired of seeing my people get beat up you know, even though they two thirds and they wicked as hell, you know, it still sometimes hit me here and there that damn man. They 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 truly getting they getting they getting it, man. All right. So we waiting for rest. Okay. I'm not trying to make it here in this wicked ass kingdom. You know, get that deadly bread, be able to take care of our bills. You know, I want to thank y'all about some outside because, you know, I'm an artist. And I've been getting a lot of orders lately. I'm like, this is nothing but the Lord. You know, I've been drawing for a long time. I've been getting a lot more orders lately, man. You know, the Lord's been taking care of me. You know? The Lord will take care of his elect. Okay? For the rulers are not terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. The Lord going to take care of you. The Lord going to keep you in these last days, man. Okay? Why? Check this. Verse 4. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. All right, he's like the whipping stick. He's like your father, man. All right, your spiritual father, as I can say. 
The Lord uses him on the left hand side to whip our people to get them back in shape, to remember themselves in the land of the captivity. It's like, hey, Lord did this to us to jack us up. You know, we sinned against him. We made a covenant uh, uh, with him and we didn't keep our side of the covenant. Okay. All right. But if thou would do that which is evil, be afraid. This is what we're telling our people, man. The sword, the sword is being is coming. The sword is being furbished. Alright, the sword is being sharpened. Okay? That's in Ezekiel. The sword is being sharpened. And for those who don't want to take heed to this gospel, that don't want to get converted, that don't want to be healed, well guess what, man? They're gonna be jacked up. Okay? They're going to be jacked up in these last days, man. The Lord's not playing with you people. Okay? The Lord is not playing. All right? Uh, but if thou would... But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. You hear that? He beareth not the sword in vain. Okay? So in the vein, for he is the minister of the Most High. For he is the minister of the Most High. Um, so I gotta keep losing my place. Uh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. All right. So that's why the Edomites are set up, man. To whip us back in order. Why do you like it or not? I don't like it. First one to tell you, I don't like you, but it is what it is, man. Until we get into the kingdom of heaven, that's when that curse is not going to be upon our people anymore. But for right now, we got to take this ill, like I keep saying, man. All right? We're taking this ill now in this battle, but in the war, we're going to get that W. All right? It's already prophesied that the elect is going to get that W. The elect is going to get that finish line first and foremost. Okay? How's the elect going to get that W? Go out there on the highways and byways, preach this word, up out the ministry, all that, man. Have faith. They're not going to believe everything that this devil says. They're not going to be committing folly. You had uh, the brother Manata Zatba post up a video the other day of. Uh, I don't know if it's Chief Ephraim or, or one of his brodies in the camp had the um, had the face mask with the fringes on it. First and foremost, man, you know the Lord Lord says, don't let your you know paraphrasing, don't let your uh, right hand knows what your left hand doing. Okay, we in captivity. It's it's not smart to put your fringes on. You know, people put it on as a, as a fashion, man. As a show, like, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Israelite, man. These people's marking you down, telling you down. They they gonna find you easy, man. They gonna find you quick. Now you have other brothers that will disagree with that. Okay. We telling you to be wise. We telling you to be smart out here. You know, like the word says, be. Uh, uh, Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and get it. Matthew, uh, crap. Getting the chapter, man. <laughs> I'm really forgetting it. Um, crap. Hold on one second, y'all. Like I'm really, it's it's really. Like, I really can't uh, uh, think what it was at the moment. Hold on 
one second. Let me uh, get it. Ten and sixteen. All right. Escaped my mind, man. Had a uh, blank. Had a blank. Uh, uh, blank head. All right. This is Matthew ten and sixteen. Behold. I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Okay, this is another reason why we're not associated with those black militant groups. Okay, because we're nothing but sheep. Esau eat him, he's a wolf. A wolf can tear down a sheep easily, man. A wolf can tread down uh, uh, many. One wolf alone can shred down many wheat, uh, uh, sheep. Okay? We don't have the training. We don't have the army. We don't have the weaponry. Esau Edom does. So we nothing but sheep out here. Okay, this is telling you to be wise. Okay? Not going out everywhere and proclaiming in front of everybody that you're Israelite. You know? And, and you're not out there on the highways and byways. So I, I'll say this. You're not out there on the highways and byways. Now, preaching this word, you're not doing anything for the ministry, but you just got your fringes on, thinking that's, that's it. That's all you got to do, okay? Now, for a brother that's um, out there that's, that's, that's doing it, all right, really can't say nothing to him. He's out there on the highways and byways preaching the word. He's keeping the law, sets, and commandments. All right, you really can't say nothing much to that brother you know just with like you know it wouldn't be wise to tell everybody outside in the world that you is like you know you're out there to the restaurant they may put some uh, uh poison in your food man because we're coming into the time where just like in the maccabees where it's not going to be lawful for you to proclaim that you the chosen people you know you look at these celebrities all they say oh we the chosen people we the real people and it says anti-Semitic. We can't be anti-Semitic when we're Semitic ourselves, man. All right? And it ain't even Semitic. It's Shemitic. Family of Shem. So they don't understand what's, they don't understand what's up, man. They don't understand what's going on. You know, you can't. <laughs> Esau, you know, he, hey, he, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Always changing words and meanings of words. Change the thing gets up. Y'all know y'all ain't the real people. The Lord says when these people get back in there, Yahweh is going to be on the throne ruling. King David's going to be on the throne ruling. It's going to be peace on this earth. The 144,000 is going to be the uh, next governing bodies under Yahweh and King David. Okay? And you're going to have ultimate peace in this world, like I said. All right, you ain't the real Jews. Lord said he's going to gather up his people from the four corners of the earth. Okay? But all y'all all y'all saying that, you know, it's just one tribe, practically. It's just one tribe of Judah. No, there's 12 tribes, man. I'm going to finish this and I'm going to get some um, more scripture. Um, Be ye therefore wise as says doves. Okay? Because what is a serpent? A serpent is actually wise. He slid his stool. He may wait a couple days for his prey. Okay? He's wise. He's moving. Circumspectly. Okay? That's what you're supposed to do in this truth. And out there tooting, having your guns out, thinking that you somebody, man. Esau Edom is marking all that stuff down. It's going to get you. Okay? Gonna get you. Let's go. Um, Some in Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah twenty-three. Let's get Jeremiah twenty-three. And five, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will rise 
unto David a righteous branch. This is what you're seeing with the man about the four corners of the earth, standing tall, standing boldly for the name of Yahweh by some outside. Okay? Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai. Okay? The elect as well, standing tall, standing tall and boldly for the for the names of the Lord as well. And the king shall reign and prosper. Yahweh Shai and King David. Okay? And shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And you're not seeing that. You seeing that uh, uh, being done in this wicked ass kingdom? No. People committing all types of wickedness, man. Adultery. Having their way with children. Okay? Those are just to name a few. Homosexuality. Just to name a few. They're not upholding the law of Satan's commandments to you by some outside. They got Tel Aviv. Pink City in Jerusalem. Okay? So no, you are not the chosen people. You are not the chosen people. If you was, righteousness and, and order will be done right now. But it's not. I will rise unto David a righteous branch and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. You hear that? Dwelling safely. And hey, even, <laughs> we're not dwelling safely right now, man. Her, the whole earth is, is gearing up for war. Okay? And this is the name whereby he shall be called the Lord of all righteousness. Therefore, behold, the day has come, saith Yahweh, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all the countries wherein I have driven them, and they shall dwell safely in their land. So that's what's going to happen, man. All right? It says dwell safely in that land, and you look at the people that's dwelling in there now. You know, they're constantly having war in there. Constantly. You know, people, are, uh, they shoot missiles at each other. But the word says that they're going to dwell safely in the land. That's how you can tell they're not the people. Okay? That's, that's just one of the ways. You know? That's just one of the ways that how, how we can tell. Alright? Dwelling safely in their own land and you're not dwelling safe if you gotta set up a uh, uh, missile base whatever you want to call it if you gotta set them up to counter uh strike the iranians uh missiles or whoever's over there that's shooting at you you're not dwelling safely in your own land okay you're not they're constantly at war they're constantly killing uh uh they constantly at war over there in that land, man. Okay? Let's get another classic. All right. Jeremiah 14. Okay? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and set them in their own land. The Lord said he's going to do this. Not by a bow for decoration. Okay? Not by a freaking piece of paper. The Lord said he, he's going to do it. He's going to gather elect from the four, uh, four corners of the earth. Like it said in uh, Jeremiah 23. From the north country and wherever they've been driven out. Okay? Paraphrasing. Okay? Because a mass uh, 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 of our people that's going to be saved is from the north. Over here in Babylon the Great. Okay? And from the other corners of the earth as well. Okay. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Strangers being Israelite, foreigners. Not knowing that they're Israelites. But they're waking up in these last days. Okay. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them. And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess the land. Possess them in the lands of the Lord. For servants and handmaids. Okay, that's what's going to happen, man. 
Y'all had us for servants and handmaids. You Edomites had us for servants and handmaids. Y'all gonna be our servants and handmaids. Y'all gonna build up our kingdom. Y'all gonna build up our walls. Alright? Y'all gonna break your backs for us. You know? Some of brothers work in factories, man. I work in the man. Had to come in that thing, hot as hell, building up another man's dream. Well, guess what? I'm glad the Lord woke me up to this truth. Because now I'm working for the kingdom of heaven, man. I'm working for the kingdom of heaven. Working to get in there. All right? So then I can have rest. Then some of my brothers and sisters can have rest in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? House of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. They shall take them captives who classes they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's what's going to happen. Do you see that happening in the land now? Are they ruling over everybody? They're not ruling over everybody. Other nations are, are still doing wickedness. Okay? You're not upholding the law, statutes, commandments, see how by Shem outside, man. Oof. It shall come to pass that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrows. All right, He's gonna give us rest, and from the fear, and from the land, and from the hard bondage, where thou was made to serve. Okay, that's what we're waiting for, man. I'm gonna get numbers. Twenty-four, I believe. I'm going to start at Numbers 24 and 18. This is for you, you fake-ass Jews, man. You Jewish people. You want to be, man. This is your judgment, okay? This is Numbers 24 and 18. And Edom shall be a possessing. You hear that? Just like it, uh, uh, you know, coincides with um, Isaiah 14, like we read, you know? They're going to be our servants, our handmaids. Okay? Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. And Israel shall do valiantly, you know? And the Israelites get that uh, uh, spiritual power in these last days, man. It's, it's going to be beautiful. Out of, Jacob, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. All right, in, in verse 20, here's a, here's a key point. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, because this is, a, a, what's his name? Balaam, the Lord gave him a dream about the future of what's gonna happen, about the future of us, about the future of these other nations, okay? And said Amalek was the first of the nations. Okay, one of the first of the nations to come against us, man. But his latter end shall he, shall be that he perish forever. Ooh. <laughs> his latter end that he shall perish forever. So he's going to go into slavery. He's going to be a possession. And then, and then uh, uh, there's going to be no more remaining of the house of Esau. Matter of fact, we can get that in uh, Obadiah. Let me go ahead and get my phone for that one. All right, let me go ahead and get that. Um, get Obadiah 1 and 15 for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen as thou hast done it shall be done unto thee they reward thy reward shall be upon thy own head you done us dirty you gonna get dirty you gonna get done dirty in righteousness though okay 
If you look at uh, uh, all the things that have done unto us, hey, it was all in wickedness. For ye have drunken upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. All the heathen is going to drink continually. They're going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. They shall be as though they had not been. Your riches, your kingdom, your glory. It's going to be a, a mount to nothing, man. It's going to be all about the Israelites, man. But, um, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Ultimately, the earth was given into our hands. Okay, the uh, slaki, the earth was made for our sakes. So they took our world. And we're going to take it back. All right? That's our blessing, man. The difference is our kingdom is going to last forever and forever. Okay? Uh, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. Northern and southern kingdom. Okay? And coming back together in these last days. And we're really going to be back together as one nation again in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? And check this. In the house of Esau for stubble, you're going to be nothing but stubble, man. And they shall kindle with them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Ooh. Goes back to what I read in uh, Numbers 24, man. You're going to perish forever. All right? That's pretty much it, man. I'm going to close out. Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, keep on doing doing this work, man. We're getting closer and closer to being out of here. So with that, we're going to give all praises going on to Yahweh, Basum, Yahweh, Basum, Rakakadaz, the bonds to our apostles and elders, a great most on. Much respect to your brothers out there. Let's preach this word in truth and sincerity. Until next time, Lord willing, Salawam.